monster is delicious. Okay. Toyota JZX100 Chaser Tor V trim. Today is a very special day. Let me get off. Today is a very special day, I think, for me and my friend, but also for the JZX and 1JZ VVTI community as a whole. We are going to be dyno testing our vehicles. Him and his Mark II 100, me and my Chaser 100, both 1JZ VVTI engines. His is phone stock with an intercooler, a front mount, and they cut off the muffler on his stock exhaust. So his is basically bone stock, and it's gonna be very exciting to see what an almost stock 1J VVTI makes. Mine has got some work into it. We'll get into that later. So it'll be cool to compare from his to mine. We're going to June Auto Mechanic in Tokyo, Japan. They're about 20, 25 minutes away from us. And we're gonna go get a dyno test. We're not tuning our vehicles. We're just seeing what it puts down right now. It's gonna be very interesting because I have some big power plans for this in the future, very soon future, you guys will see. And I wanna see a before and after. I also wanna see a before like stock example with his vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead, get over to his house. We're gonna check our vehicles over, make sure fluid's good, everything's good, nothing looks sketch. See y'all soon. This is my boys, JZX100 Mark II, 1JZ VVTI. It's almost bone stock, except it has a big fat front mount intercooler and they cut the muffler off your stock exhaust. Other than that, it's stock factory airbox, which I think is pretty rare. I've never actually seen one. Um, running stock boost, which is like 10, 10.6 PSI, 0.7 bar or something. I don't know. That, that's all I'll say, we can't really wipe it down. So there's his RX-7, his, his stuff's pretty clean. I think he just finished building it or something. Like it wasn't working for a long time, but he rebuilt it himself. His name's Victor. His stuff's pretty cool. Uh, this is my 100. I have a little bit more work done to it. It just kind of looks flashy under the hood, but it's really nothing special. I have the front mount. I have some like little air duct right here. I'm not running an air filter for maximum airflow. I've got the Grady Profec boost controller slash boost gauge. I'm going to be running around 14 to 15 PSI this morning on the dyno. Uh, what else? So I have the Drift Motion Rebuild Turbo, CT15. It's like a high flow. They uh, ported everything. They put all steel internals in. I think it's Garrett stuff, honestly, the internals. Um, I have the Tomei Downpipe Elbow, which goes the stock elbow is like 2.75 inches and then this one the tome is three inches and then that goes into my three inch cat delete and then that cat delete goes to my three inch straight pipe kazama auto something exhaust so i have a turbo back three inch straight pipe other than that i think everything is basically stock on the engine i'll do a quick fluid thing um All right, so we just got our yen out and we're about to head to June. Our boy Jerry, the granddaddy, JZX Yakota person on base. Uh, he's gonna join us. He's gonna see the process. So June could only do two vehicles today. We tried to get all three of us to go, but they could only do two today. They say it's a two hour process per vehicle. They scheduled us in at 1300, so we'll see what's good. They said they're going to schedule the third vehicle, Jerry's vehicle, uh, for another day, but we're going to schedule that tonight.
just arrived to June. It's the front door. That's their inside waiting area. It's about 12 o'clock right now. It's Martin Luther King Day. I think it's around 35 degrees outside. Make for an interesting session. So our appointment's for 1300, one o'clock. We're here an hour early. We thought maybe we could see, just walk around, check out the shop, look at the cars. But uh, it turns out all the mechanics are on lunch. So we kind of got here early for nothing, but it's still cool though. Looking at all these cars. There's a family mart right there for lunch and all that stuff. Toyota store. Yeah, so uh, they're on lunch right now till one. Okay. So we're just gonna be hanging out and it's okay that we're parked there. Okay. We got some cool June cars. There's a Toyota dealership right there. So it's Monday. Most Japanese places from what I've noticed are closed on Sundays and Mondays compared to America being Saturday and Sunday. But yeah. This is the parking area. Some really clean JZXs out here. I wonder who owns those. And I guess this is like their workshop. All up in here. We'll see what it is in an hour. Got some clean cars parked back here. Not a fan of S14s, but that's a clean example of an S14. I really like these little Suzuki trucks though. Vans, those things are dope. We got some more Americans out here. We're not the only Americans. So this is a uh, the Y plate. That means uh, it's an American military. This one's dirty. It might have been sitting in a minute. It did snow this morning for maybe 30 minutes. So that's probably why. There's another Y plate GTR. Yeah, look at all these clean cars. That this is my favorite uh, Sylvia. The S13s. Hey, this is what his name is though. I saw this one actually. Tokyo Auto Salon 2020. They canceled 2021. That would have happened actually this weekend. Yeah, they canceled that. So I saw this one last year. Got this guy. He's struggling. He's hurting. Yo, you think they got like drag strips out here? Oh. How else are they doing this? They do drag strips out of Fuji. You know where the um. I know where Fuji's at. Fuji you know Speedway. Where their, drift, their drift track is. I guess so. They just use that for drag too. That's dope. We gotta go. Where? Fuji. I wanna go to the Speedway. One oh. J Fest maybe. This year? Yeah. If they don't okay. cancel it. Uh. So. All the mechanics are at lunch right now. Yeah, for one, we got here an hour early. <laughs> so, but they said it's okay that we're parked here. We can just hang out, walk around, look at stuff. The, the yeah, the the Toyo Tires main factory is like right across the street. Right. Clean thirty.
Yeah. 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 Maybe two, three. Fifteen psi. Fifteen psi. Fifteen and a half. Wow, so boy. Arigato gozaimasu. Just text it to me. It's yeah. easy. Cause this JP's well, you know, got. You, can, you know you can um, do it through here. You can you can view your video right on my phone. No, on there too. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it's such a tiny screen that I don't want to do that. But you can put them on your phone through like Bluetooth and all that. There's my baby. This boy knows what's good. He can park it right next to you. Oh, he's going to, I think. That smoke don't look blue to you, right? Huh? I thought I saw some blue smoke. I was just mistaken. It's just, it's cold, you know? God, look at that angle, though. That's stock, man. She, it looks like it's got crazy angle, you know? All right, now it's the Mark II's turn. He's just gonna hop right in. Oh, oh. straight up. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna get it on this GoPro. No, why not? Your camera's super good though. Yeah. I'll get your pool, your your camera footage on your screen footage fire yep my turn let's see what she makes this dude What's it like? Huh? My phone says it's like 40 degrees outside, but on the computer screen it was saying like 54. And I guess that's because we're in here and the engine's a little bit hot, all that stuff. What you wanted? Three four three four one newton meters. Twelve psi. Okay. Wow, so good. So good. So two hundred fifty horsepower at twelve point two psi. 
what, what, what did we say? 340 newton meters? 341 newton meters. 341 newton meters. We'll do the conversion in a minute. Yo, that's his graph right there. That's crazy. That's you, bro. 250. Arigato, yeah. What's he gonna write? 12 PSI. Yes, sir. Test. Wow. Oh, and he saves it to like a USB and then he prints it out later. That's that 250 horsepower beast right there, son. Completely stuck. We were on the money. We said 250. Yeah, we were on the money. Yeah. But once you open it up, you get 70 horsepower right there, son. Oh, we out here at June. We making moves right now. So that, that costs 110 bucks, 11,000 yen, 110 bucks. And you see how much power your vehicle is making. That took, it's like what, 30, 40 minutes per car? Yeah, it, only, it, it didn't take that long yeah. because um, we, both, we both automatic. Yeah. So you don't want to keep um, pushing it because it's on a stock transmission. Yeah. And the foot converter don't like it. They it's don't, slipping. yeah. So, but y'all see it, 250 stock, Two. stock air box. Bone stock, stock. Stock exhaust. The only thing changed is the muffler tip. Yeah, cut out the muffler, rear muffler, and then a big front mount intercooler, 250 horsepower right there. Yes, sir. Okay, so we're back, same day, Martin Luther King Day. It's January 18th, 2021. Uh, today, I went and I got a dyno test of my JZX100 Toyota Chaser. Those are my animals. They're making a lot of noise right now, so if you hear him playing with that, just please ignore it. Anyways, so today, I think it was about like 38 degrees, kind of, the whole type of day, but... uh. Inside the actual June auto mechanic shop, it was around 54 degrees. That's at least what the dyno computer said. I think it was saying something like 54% humidity. Uh, you can look up our elevation if you just type in June auto mechanic, uh, you know, location and stuff, geography location. If you really care about that sort of stuff when it comes to your dyno, it does make a difference though, the elevation and the temperature and the humidity. So best of my information I can give you was the dyno was reading 54% humidity, 54 degrees outside Fahrenheit. Um, yeah, look up geography location for sea level, all that stuff. You do your thing with it. Got a whole bunch of swag, you know, whole bunch of stuff. Just cause why not, might as well. Got a hat. This is uh, the oil filler cap for, it's for an RB, but you know, it's just cool decoration stuff. Got a June Auto, the little radiator cap. Sorry, I wasn't in the view. The little radiator cap, this is for 1Js and 2Js. Got this is, you can't really see, you might be able to see it. This is an RB26 valve cover, right? And the valve cover, it's like the garnish for it because the valve cover on an RB26 is different from the 1J and 2J. You actually put like double-sided tape or some sort of adhesive right here and it glues onto your actual uh, valve cover. Got a whole bunch of stickers, shirt, keychains, all sorts of good stuff. This stuff is not cheap though. Ended up total, this whole little box of stuff was $500. Pretty crazy. The tune itself, not the tune, my bad. The 
the dyno test ended up costing $110 per vehicle. It's $100 and then the Japan has a 10% tax, so it came out to $110. 11,000 yen, 10,000 yen just to run your vehicle. They give you a whole bunch of stickers though for free. It's like a little present, they said. Let me see if I can show you. Got this bad boy. June performed design and production for the high performance engine. It's got some Japanese writing right there. I don't know what it says. It probably says something along these lines. Who knows? I certainly don't because I'm ignorant and I don't speak Japanese even though I live in Tokyo and I'm a messed up American. Let's see what else we got. They gave me these two in silver because my chaser is silver. June Auto Mechanic Machine Shop Auto Works. Pretty cool. And then here is just a bunch of receipts. And then here are my dino figures. Okay, so which one we got right here? So this says the horsepower right here, you can see it's 320 horsepower at 297.7 foot pounds of torque. And it looks like all this power is coming on at around 4,200. You can see it right there too. Uh, this graph, it looks very weird because currently at the moment I'm automatic and I'm not manual. The person doing the dyno testing, he even said that that the torque converter, that if he were to floor it in first and second, it would spin so fast that you wouldn't get a correct reading on the the dyno hub. So he kind of had to feather it in first gear and second gear. And then this is actually third gear right here where he just floored it. And he wants to go see how much power it was making. So this is the horsepower and this is the torque right here. You can see around 300 foot pounds of torque around 320 horsepower. And then that is me running at, where is it? 15.5 PSI of boost. I run PSI, that's like 1.03 bar or something like that. I don't run bar, I'm an American. I'm kind of ignorant when it comes to stuff like that. But there it is. So basically all that I have done on my vehicle, let's see, I've got the drift motion rebuild and I clicked every single option on that. So they ported it, they made it bigger, they made the internals bigger, they got rid of all the ceramic crap out of the C15 and they put all steel internals. There's rumors going around that it's all Garrett internals, what they rebuild with. That's pretty dope. So I'm basically running just a big Garrett. Who knows, they say the turbo is good for around 450, 500 horsepower. My end goal is 400 to 450. I don't want more. I don't think that's streetable at that point. That's more just drag slash race car stuff. And I'm just really just trying to have a clean, powerful street car. So other than that, I'm running, uh, let's see, the drift motion rebuild. Then I have a full turbo back three inch straight pipe. The down pipe from the turbo is the Tomei X Prime is what it's called. It's a three inch stock down pipe is 2.75 inches. Then I have a three inch cat delete, just a three inch straight pipe from the downpipe to the, where the cat is. And then the cat back is just a Kazama Auto three inch straight pipe. It's loud, it's kind of obnoxious. I only drive it in the middle of the day, uh, not on, only on weekends, not on weekdays because I'm not really trying to annoy my neighbors. I feel like they already hate me because my car is too loud, who knows. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I have the boost controller in so that way I could control the amount of boost I'm making. That's why I'm making 15.5% or PSI of boost. When I'm pretty sure stock boost is around 10 PSI, 10 to 12 PSI, I would say, depending on the weather and what you have done to your vehicle. So other than that, I have a bunch of suspension stuff done, but that's not really power. This is all just power stuff. That's why we got this dyno number. I am going to be throwing in 264 cams and a whole bunch of other stuff at the same time, you know. Re redoing timing belt, water pump, all the stuff you're gonna do, the seals, front main seal, cam seals, VVTI seals, filter. I might as well just hit it while I'm in there. I'm also throwing in the HKS uh, exhaust cam timing cam gear, maybe squeeze in an extra bit of horsepower. I hear that you can squeeze a bit of a five to 15 horsepower, just degreeing that thing correctly. And I will have a video on that shortly. I'm just waiting on more parts in the mail for that will be here shortly that's going to get me horsepower more horsepower i think 
from what I've read on forums, I can get an X to maybe 380, 390 horsepower doing those cams and everything that I have right now. We will see because right after I put those cams in, hopefully on a temperature around the same day, I will go back to June and I will get another dyno done. I also, you know, I went to June because they're reputable. They're a very popular brand. They're, you know, that that's the place. They're a reputable shop. They're not gonna lie to you. They've been around for a very long time. They're not gonna like fluff it to make you feel better about yourself. This is what you're running, is what I feel at least. Yeah, that's it. I will be throwing cams in. I'll go back to June. I'll get the numbers and we'll compare. It'll be awesome. It's a great example. Oh, so um, my boy, Lash, he also got his car on the dyno, the Mark II, bone stock. All that was done to it was just a front mount intercooler. And the muffler, the rear muffler on his stock exhaust, they cut it out and they welded a straight pipe in. Sounds really good, actually. Um, really aggressive but not obnoxiously loud you could start that in the morning and your neighbors won't hate you sounds really good there's my cat going again he did 250 horsepower and 250 foot pounds of torque all it's done is an intercooler and a muffler delete and he was running 12 psi based on what the graph was saying 54 degrees outside 54 percent humidity or something like that so I feel like that's a that's a great comparison right there. So basically a bone stock 1JZ VVTi is gonna make 250 horsepower, 250 foot pounds of torque. If you do big turbo from drift motion, uh, three inch turbo back straight pipe, go up to 15.5 PSI of boost, you're, that's a 70 horsepower increase, 50 torque increase, 50 foot pounds of torque increase. That's That's the main reason we did this to get a base number, the number of everything that I did to my vehicle and the number it makes. And then we're gonna throw in cams and get another number and see how much cams add. This little section of the video, right now we're running at like nine minutes and 30 seconds. That's crazy, it's long, this is gonna get chopped up. But hey, thank you guys, appreciate it. Thank you for watching this. Y'all take it easy, see you next time.